Hey guys, it's me, Opeb. On today's episode of AliExpress E-Waste, we're going to be taking a look at... Uh, it actually doesn't have a name. I don't think this had a real name when I bought it. It was like 3D Game Boy 3D printed object. Fun for game. Without further ado, look at it. Beautiful, beautiful little handheld. Honestly, last time I got a little piece of 3D printed e-waste uh, from AliExpress, it actually never came in. Uh, so I kind of didn't think that this one would. It had five purchased people before me. Uh, I was the number six, and when I checked back, I think I was still number six. <laughs> it said six total sold, uh, but it, it's real. It actually works. Uh, they didn't really detail much of how this would work, but when I got it, it had this recognizable little... Uh, interface actually I looked it up it's called retro go uh, and it's actually pretty functional like I got, I got one without an SD cards so this thing only set me back uh, 40 bucks which was maybe by some people's standards too expensive but it actually works uh, you got Game Boy Game Boy Color Game & Watch uh, Sega Master System Game Gear Genesis ColecoVision PC Engine Lynx Doom I never tried it MSX uh, you actually have a, like a functional favorites in recent played, which is pretty cool. That that's like something that even the uh, like funky that I really enjoy a lot that doesn't do that. Uh, even though this is a little bit weaker than a funky, but it's like kind of cool that you can just do this. Like it'll show you what system you played on and all that. Um, NES, SNES, but SNES runs like complete garbage. I would not recommend that. Uh, but yeah, every everything else actually functions. Like they they play. You can play these games. Um, and it was pretty cool. It, it also has this little like 3D printed uh, analog stick nub thing. I don't really know how to like, describe that all that well. It's just kind of it's kind of weird, but it works better than you'd think for how small this is. Uh, the only other comparable thing I have to that is actually this little thing that I ended up seeing from a YouTube video and also kind of expected to be a scam just like this, but it was also real little 3d printed fight pad uh, to be honest I don't really like this one that much it's a little just kind of rinky dink ugly but um, you know I gave it an honest try and it, it was kind of fun to play around with you know it's cool that people just make these sort of custom custom to order oh. so you know it's an idea for people to try out but uh, you know this isn't about the fight pad this is about the little handle and it's a surprisingly little pretty fun. Uh, I wouldn't play action games on here. I definitely recommend sticking to like RPGs. Um, I tried out stuff like Magic Knight Ray Earth for Game Gear of all things, you know, just little little weird games. I don't, I don't know if this is going to focus properly. Maybe it'll look like that. Get into a fight. Oh, right. Volume. Yeah. It, it's pretty decent. Actually, I was like Type-C port for charging, which even the Funky doesn't do, that is a uh, micro USB. RG Nano has the Type-C though. And yeah, no headphone jack, but this thing does have like functional sound, so you can keep it kind of quiet there. Also, I think we're getting beat up right now. Let's make sure we get that. Now, even though it works on here, I'm not going to claim that this is the, uh, <laughs> the greatest game to be playing on Game Gear. I actually just kind of tried it out because I watched a little bit of this, but the uh, game kind of sucks. Uh, but what's, what's something a little bit more fun? Like something like Dragon Crystal, I think is really cool on here. Uh, if you've ever heard of that, it's actually like a super old roguelike from back in the day. But a little bit more like what I would call one. Uh, you know, walk through the little hallways, unlock your next way, and you're trying to find the stairs. And this one's kind of nice because it doesn't take a lot of use of the buttons. Uh, one of the weird quirks with this thing, I feel like with these micro handles, you always have some type of compromise. Whether that's the face buttons being good, but the D-pad being awkward, or both. Or in this thing's case, this little nub is actually like super comfortable to use, but the buttons are so tiny and kind of like, tough to press in on. But with this game, you can use it pretty sparingly. 
uh, just because the way it works. It, similar to in like a normal mystery dungeon game where you would press like A and B to stay still, you just press A in this game. And it holds you still, waste the turn so the enemies can walk around. But yeah, things things like that. It's a uh, surprisingly nice. I've I've been playing it very quietly uh, during work to uh, kind of avoid getting into any trouble like that. What was I playing on PC Engine? I tried a Wonder Momo. I don't know if this is going to show that well on here. Oh yeah, one of those things that's a little awkward here is that uh, you can't... Well, I mean you can pause. The start button is going to be where like your X typically is because there's no actual start button. These are both function buttons down here on the left. This is for your save states. This is for your like little options menu. Um, yeah, we'll quit out of there. And it, it's pretty convenient, you know, it just puts you on that save, save slot, and real easy to jump in and out there. Um, let's see, what was something we did, Game Boy, you could play Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong GB. Skill issues, sorry guys. I'm a fake, uh, fake retro gamer, dying on Donkey Kong level one. I played this before actually on on a different handheld and did just fine, but there we go. There we go. And save Pauline, and then he runs off. We've never seen Donkey Kong before. It's very new game. But yeah, just things like that. Um, I didn't have a whole lot to say with this. I, I didn't have much prepared. I'll I'll leave the link if it's still up to where I got this. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, Super Nintendo doesn't work though. Like, or I shouldn't say it doesn't work, but just as a caution, don't get this for Super Nintendo. I would definitely recommend getting something like like a Funky or an RG Nano. Those ones can play Super Nintendo perfectly fine. Oh yeah, here we go. Even this says, like, ROM loading failed. Log saved. So there's an error and it'll take care of that. But, like, for example, Super Nintendo, I was I was literally playing a Super Nintendo game on here. Uh, and, like, this will just come up just fine. You know. No issues here. This, uh, this is Torneco for uh, uh, Super Nintendo. You know, no lag. Very nice. Obviously, I'm going to make some people angry because I'm pretty sure I stretched the image, though. But, uh, you know, you, you get the point, though. Game game works perfectly well. So, real nice thing there. I would still say this is probably my favorite, like, by far. Just, like, look at this thing, man. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, feels good. Buttons are nice and quiet, very easy to press, uh, sort of thing. But just as a uh, curiosity... Maybe I'll call the videos that handheld curiosity or something like that. But like, as as just like a curiosity sort of thing, this is really neat that this exists. It's just weird. I just somebody dropped it into a Discord link one day, and they were like, "Hey, look at this thing. It's weird looking." And I was like, "Yeah, let me take a chance on it. I'll just buy it. Why not?" Because the last time I tried to take a chance on one of those that nobody else was buying or talking about, uh, they never sent it to me. They did refund me the uh, like seller basically told me like hey we can't make this uh we're gonna refund you and then they refunded me <laughs> but like uh I, I don't know if that was some sort of scam where like over overseas you know they already got the money and then they can they can afford to force aliexpress to give me the money back no idea i can't speak on that I'm not gonna you know try to create drama with it because i mean i got my money back i wasn't really angry but 
uh, you know, just these weird little custom ones actually working out is just pretty interesting. Uh, didn't have too much else to say there, though. So I will uh, close it out here. Thanks for watching. Uh, me make a video once every 45 days or something. Uh, hopefully I'll make something interesting again soon that may be tangentially related to video game. See you later. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friend, uh, tell your mom, make your dog watch. Bye-bye.